Congratulations, Dion. Thank you. Appreciate it. Talk a little bit about going to Miami and what, what that's going to be for you. Uh, you know, first of all, it's a huge blessing to me to to be in this situation, the team that, that decides to trade up and come get me. Uh, but it'll be good, you know, playing alongside all of those young players, guys like Cameron Wake and uh, a lot of other great players out there. It'll be good to, to get around those and be part of the, the team that's trying to win. What do you know about Coach Phillip? Uh You know, I, I, honestly, I talked to the offense a little, you know, throughout the process. Uh, but, you know, I feel like they, they made the right move. They, they got the guy that they wanted. Dion, talk about how excited you are to play for an organization that has been able to get three positions and they improved last year under the leadership of Tanny. I'm very excited, you know, like I said, uh, to play alongside a lot of, a lot of those guys and uh, just be a part of an organization who's on the rise and looking forward to winning, not only just winning games, you know, just getting to the big games. You know, a lot of people in South Florida where I live are extremely excited, but they were stumped. Uh, how, much, how much contact did you have with the Dolphins, and did you think this was a realistic possibility? Uh, you know, I had I had contact with them, but it was a little minimal throughout the process. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I do understand this, the style of the defense and uh, what's going on with and the plan. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised, but I'm not very surprised because I, I do feel like I can fit well with what they have going on. Did they visit with you, or did you come to South Florida? How did that happen? They visited with me. Where did they meet you? Uh, I got to meet them on my pro day. I got to meet them uh, in, uh, in Indy, you know, and then throughout the phone, like phone calls from here and there. But, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't like my name was being tossed around to go to, to Miami Dolphins. That was a great bow tie. Did you make that yourself? Or no, my mother did it for me. Oh, my <laughs> great. Uh, yeah, you grew up in Phoenix, right? Right. Dry heat versus humidity. Something you thought about here at the point that they were playing in the heat. I know you must have played in the pretty scorching one. Yeah, you know, uh, it would be a change, of course, you know, but uh, I mean, this is something, I feel like that's the last thing I worry about. <laughs> I don't know you say that now. I'm in Arizona now, and I talked to your high school coach a couple of weeks ago, and, uh, you know, he had nothing but great praise to say about you. Uh, can you say something about that, about coming out of that program? Yeah, man, there's a lot of great athletes that come out of the program. Uh, you know, they, they train as well, you know, to get us ready for the collegiate level. Uh, make sure we take care of business in school, first of all, so we can have that opportunity. And uh, like I said, you know, it's a tremendous amount of athletes come out there, and it's because of coaching and because of the, the, uh, the community that's there. Yeah, talk, talk about Jason Taylor and the I mean, being compared to a guy like him that has that athletic, athletic ability, uh, who got after quarterbacks for a long time, you know, he's great. You know, but I do feel like, you know, uh, because of our, our build and the, the size, like things like that, little things, uh, I feel like that's the reason why we compare it to each other a lot. And, uh, you know, for me, my, uh, my best attribute is to be at the quarterback, so I want to make sure I, I take care of that part. Are you excited? This, this is the first draft in NFL history where three tackles and three pass rushes were chosen in the top two. Right. What do you think that says about the state of the NFL today? I mean, it's, I feel like to become a pass and lead, they need guys to protect quarterbacks and guys to get out there. Are you looking forward to going after Tom Brady now? <laughs> I've heard that a lot. Yeah, I am, man. Of course. I mean, that's Brady, man. A, a tremendous a tremendous talent, a staple in the, in the NFL. And, uh, you know, just to be in the NFL, honestly, and to, uh, to have an opportunity to play against guys like him, you know, it really gets me going. Mark Sanchez, means you hard Are you 100% healthy? I'm not 100%. You know, I'm a, a, over a month out of, almost two months out of surgery from having my, my labor repair. Uh, but, you know, I feel like I'm ahead of schedule. I'm doing the little things right, you know, so I can be prepared to go, you know, when it's time to strap it up. How did the phone call go? Uh, the phone call went well, you know. Uh, it was uh, a huge surprise for me. We were talking on the phone with Miami Dolphins coach, but I see the greater helmet on the screen. Was, I had to put it together really fast. Uh, it was good, you know. They're looking forward for me to get down there, and I'm looking forward to getting there, too. What do you know about the rivalry between the Dolphins and the Jets? Uh, I mean, I, obviously, it's a huge rivalry, you know. And both teams are looking forward to, uh, to, like I said, not only winning games, but winning the big game. And uh, you know, I'm looking forward to being a part of it. What does it mean to you for a team to trade down and come get you? I mean, it feels really good, you know. Uh, like I said I was surprised. It does feel really good that they they feel they feel like they had the they want they found a person that they wanted. And, uh, you know, I, I feel like I can feel more that they that they feel like they need.
Uh, you talk about you staying with the end or possibly outside linebacker? Uh, not yet. You know, I feel like because I did play in space a lot at the collegiate level, I do more understand how to play space if they need me to. But like I said, my best attribute is, uh, probably is getting out of the quarterbacks, and I'm looking forward to doing that. What was the NFL Play 60 experience like? And it was great. You know, I feel like it was probably, other than going to high school, it's probably the best, best thing that the NFL had for us. I had a lot of fun, you know, getting out there with those guys. The young guys taking my mind off of things. Uh, but it was good, man. man. It showed, it, I seen a lot of a lot of heart that they, that they had and, and the way that they're trying to change the game. What position did you ever think was possible? Excuse me? Yeah, of course, man. You know, I, I labeled myself as an athlete. You know, I played defense in high school, so I knew what, what I was doing. When I went over there, I just had to, you know, adjust to the style of the defense that was being ran, and uh, you know, just just fine tuning and doing the little things. You know, so I just don't be. I won't just be another guy out there. I'll be a, a good athlete. And I took my time and I did what I had to do to help out my team at the university. What do you think about your uh, teammate on the other side, Cameron Wake? Jordan Wake, that's going to be a tough, uh, tough defensive line. Yeah, man. I mean, I seen a guy for a while. He's probably one of the best pass rushers in the league now. Uh, he has a, a tremendous motor, and man, if I play on the other side, of, playing on the other side of him, uh, would be a uh, really good deal. Any more questions? Say hello to LeBron for us. <laughs> Thank you, guys.